Lovely to see you. I'm Mouse. Welcome to my home at Smithles Estate. If you've been to Smithles Estate before, you may have walked past my house and not even known it was there. I live underneath the roots of one of the big, tall beech trees. It's a lovely place to live. I do enjoy living here, meeting all the lovely visitors that come and see us and see the estate and all the other wildlife. Oh, there are some lovely, lovely creatures who live here. Not Badger. Badger's a bit grumpy. And I do love spending time with them. Sometimes we meet up and get together. It's been a bit harder this year. But I am determined to enjoy my Christmas here at Smithles. I'm nearly ready, and I'm just doing the last few things. Today, I'm making decorations to go on my Christmas tree. I love making things. I don't know about you, but I absolutely love to make things. I don't always get them right, but there we go. What do you think this might be? I'll tell you in a minute, see if you're right. Today's a very special day though. Shall I tell you why? I've invited a very special guest. I really, really hope he comes. He's very busy at this time of year and he might not be able to make it, but he likes to make crafty things too. And I'm hoping that he might join me. Have you got any ideas who it is yet? Oh, it's so exciting going to be lovely. We're going to have a lovely, nice drink, get all snuggly and enjoy making some Christmassy decorations. <gasps> oh, can you hear that? I think my special guest is arriving. Oh. Hello, Mouse. Hello, Father Christmas. Oh. Do come in. Thank you very much. May I sit down at your table? You certainly may. Oh, wonderful. Thank you for coming to my woodland home. Oh, what a pleasure. Oh, Mouse, you do have a lovely, lovely home here, don't you? Yes, I do. Isn't it wonderful? Oh, hello to Mouse's friends. <laughs> hello there, special friends. Oh, oh, hello there. A very Merry Christmas to you. How lovely it is to, to join you all here today. Are you very busy at the moment? Well, Mouse, uh, yes. I am very busy at this time of year, as you'll know, preparing to bring all of the little children around the world lovely Christmas presents on Christmas Eve. But um, I do like to spend a little bit of time uh, this time of year exploring Smith Hill's estate. Well, thank you for coming to see me. As I said in my invitation, I'm making Christmas tree decorations today. Ooh. I've started one already. This just uses paper and scissors. Have you guessed what it is yet? Ooh. But you might need to take off your gloves if you're going to do some cutting. Do you know what? <laughs> There's a funny story about my gloves. Would you like to hear it? A story? Yes, please. Oh, good. Well, once upon a time, a little boy wanted a pair of mittens to go out and play on Smith Hill's estate. He said, Granny, I want to go out and play in the snow at Smith Hill's estate. Will you knit me a pair of mittens to keep me warm? She said, oh, of course I will. He said, and will they be white mittens? She said, oh, no. No, you shouldn't have white mittens, because if you drop white mittens in the snow, they'll be lost. He said, oh, but I want white mittens, Granny. She said, well, why don't I knit you some lovely orange mittens? 
No, not orange mittens, he said. I want white ones. Well, she said, white mittens will get lost in the snow. Why don't I knit you some lovely blue mittens? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Just like this mouse. <laughs> but the little boy said, no, Granny. I want them to be white mittens. So eventually she agreed and she knitted him a lovely new pair of white mittens to wear out in the snow at Smith Hills. The first time he went out to play, do you know what happened? No. <laughs> well, he played and played until he started to get a little bit warm and he started to take the mittens off. He rolled them up into a ball and he put them into his pocket. Except he thought he'd put them into his pocket, but what had happened was that he had dropped one of them down in the snow. And you know what? His granny was right. Because it was white, he couldn't see the mitten in the snow, and it was left there. Left for the animals to find. <laughs> Firstly, a little furry creature came along and found the mitten. The little creature thought, that mitten looks warm. And he tried to squeeze inside. He poked his nose in and the mitten felt warm and cosy. So he burrowed his way further into the mitten. And as he did, the mitten grew and made room for him to snuggle down and make a lovely little nest. Very soon, a rabbit came along. The rabbit saw the mitten too, and opening up the hole in the mitten, he said, Hello, can I come in? Mole, for the little furry creature was a mole, said, Hmm, and thought about saying no, but it's always nice to share, isn't it? So Mole said, yes, come on in. I'm sure there's plenty of room. And Rabbit pushed his nose into the mitten and it felt warm and cozy. And as he snuggled into the mitten, the mitten grew until there was space inside for two of them. Soon, a fox came along. And the fox saw the mitten and she said, um, can I come in? Well, Mole and Rabbit thought about saying no, but it's always important to share, isn't it? So they said, yes, of course you can come in. And Rabbit held open the mitten and Fox pushed her nose inside and squeezed into the mitten and it felt warm and cozy. And as she did, the mitten grew and grew until there was room for three. The three creatures nestled and snuggled in that warm mitten and felt ever so comfortable. And then along came Bear. bear. Yes, yes, Mouse, Bear. And Bear said, hello. And the three creatures inside thought about it, saying, no, no, there isn't enough room for a bear. But they remembered how important it is to share. So they said, yes, come on in, bear. And bear pushed her nose inside the glove. And as she did, it felt so warm and cozy. As she snuggled further into the mitten, the mitten grew and grew. And very soon, there was space inside for all of the <gasps> mouse. <laughs> all four creatures, all snuggled inside a mitten, very warm and cozy. And then... I remember what happens next. Do you, Mouse? I remember now. Well, why don't you say? What happened next? I was walking through the forest, searching for some seeds to eat. 
and I saw a nice warm woolen shape and it looked snugly and I thought that would be a nice place for a little nose. So I tiptoed over to the lovely warm shape and whispered, can I come inside? And the other animals, well they thought about saying no, but then they realised it's good to share and I am only a little mouse. And they opened up the mitten so that I could snuggle in and I popped my nose in and it was warm and I snuggled in but then my whiskers they tickled that bear and he gave an almighty sneeze ah. that's right mouse all of the animals flew out of the mitten the mole flew out landed into one of his tunnels and into his warm home. The rabbit, he flew out as well, straight into one of his holes in his warren where he felt immediately warm and comfortable. Even Fox flew through the air and landed straight inside her home where it was warm and cosy too. The same for Bear, straight into her cave. But little Mouse, what happened to you? I found my lovely home here, beneath the roots of the beech tree, where I have been perfectly warm and snuggly ever since. It is a very warm and cosy home. But Father Christmas, I'm looking at this wool and I'd love to make something for my tree, but I'm not very good at knitting. Well, I have a few ideas for lovely decorations for the tree and they do use wool. But do you know what, Mouse? There isn't any knitting at all. Oh, will you show me? Of course I will. Let's have a look at all that wool. Oh, I've got all sorts of different things in here. And I've got jewels to stick on. And I've got little tiny Here you go. Ooh. I've made you a nice hot chocolate. Oh, well, thank you very much, Mouse. That looks mm. lovely. Mm. So, I've got out all my things from my scrap store. These are bits of wool and other decorations and all the little tiny scraps that I've saved along the years. So I've got little bits from old t-shirts or from bits of ribbon that I've kept from packages when they've arrived in the post. And I'm going to use these things to decorate my decorations. Oh, wonderful. Well, I've brought along a few of the little pieces of twig that I've gathered from around the woodland at Smith Hills. And if you'd like to, Mouse, I'll show you how I want to use them to make some lovely Christmas tree decorations yes. for us to hang on the Christmas tree. Yes, please. Well, all right. Would you help me, first of all, by taking some of our twine and cutting a length of twine for me about as long as two hands? Like that? Yes, that's perfect, Mouse. That's lovely. Now then, to make our Christmas tree decoration, the first thing we're going to do is tie a little knot, just like this. Do you see, Mouse? Yes. And then would you help me? Would you pick up the shortest of our little twigs? And would you just hold that up for me? And I will pull the knot around the twig and I'm going to keep it in the middle, like this, so it hangs just like so. You see? I see. Well, very good. And now, just like I said before, I'm going to take off my gloves because this is delicate work. So, glove off, glove off. And mouse, I'm going to bundle them up into a ball. And what I'm not going to do <laughs> is drop them in the snow and lose them, am I? So I'll put them very carefully over here. Now, next thing we're going to do is I'm going to tie another little knot, just the same as the first one, and I'm going to make this knot 
as close as I can possibly make it to my twig. So if I have to, I can slide it along just like this. There we are. And if you find this too fiddly, you can always ask a grown up to help you do it, can't you? Can't you, Bows? There we are. And I'm going to ask you to do exactly the same thing as before. I'm going to put the knot around the twig like this, you see? And gradually, what I'm doing as I tie my knot and I make them as close as I can to the twig. And then I'm going to... That's wonderful, Mouse, thank you. That's right. And I put it nice and tight. Gradually, I'm building up something like this. Now, Mouse, if I start with a very small twig at the top and then build to a very wide twig at the bottom, then I might be able to end up with something that looks a little bit like this. It's a Christmas tree. It's a Christmas tree, isn't it? Yes, do you see? And what I've done, Mouse, once I've done my knot tying, is I've taken some glue and I've glued extra twigs in the gaps just to fill out the shape, just like this. Do you see? But Father Christmas, it's still missing something. Oh. And I is know it what it is. We can't have a Christmas tree without decorations. Oh. I have some little jewels that I can put on there and to give it decorations. How lovely. You could do the same. Yep. You could decorate your Christmas tree with bits of wool or bits of leaf or you could paint it if you want to or you can do what Mouse is doing and use little beads or sticky decorations to make your Christmas tree really come alive. How good it looks already. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, that's lovely. Well, I shall enjoy hanging that on the tree later, Mouse. Uh, oh, I've got another idea as well. Shall I tell you my other idea? Yes, please. All right, here's one. So, I've taken some of my twigs and I've used some glue to stick them together and make a Christmas tree shape. Just like this, do you see? Yeah. Just like this. And so what I'm going to do then uh, Mouse, could I take some of your lovely colourful wool? Yes. Wonderful. Um, maybe you'd like to choose a nice colour for me and, and then just cut a little bit of the wool off for me. Oh, that's perfect. And what I'm going to do is more knots. Here we are. I'm going to tie my bit of wool just there to my tree. And then I'm going to wrap and wrap and wrap around and wrap and wrap around and wrap and wrap around and finally I'm going to tie another little knot. If it's too fiddly, which it could be for some people, then again you can ask a grown-up to help you. I've got an idea. Oh, good mouse, what's if your idea? If it's too fiddly, could I put one of these on? Let me see if this is easier. As they bend and keep their shape. Oh, that looks beautiful, yes. mouse. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, like lovely decorations. There we are. And if I could borrow your scissors, uh, last of all is just to trim off any loose ends, just to make it look a little bit neater, just like this. Oh, and one very, very important thing that you always need to do, again, I'm going to borrow some of the twine, Mouse, is to make a loop, because all Christmas decorations do need a lovely loop at the top to be able to hang them from the tree. So, one more knot in my loop and trim for neatness. And there we are. It's another Christmas decoration to hang on our tree. Yay. What look, do you think, Mouse? Look at the jewels. Oh, they both look lovely, don't they? Oh, I'm looking forward to that. Do you remember the Christmas decoration I was making earlier? Shall I finish it off and see what it looks like? Oh, yes, please. Where's my little scissors? Oh, have I borrowed them? Yes, thank you very much. 
So, first thing I did was I got a piece of paper. Just any old paper. You could use coloured paper if you want. And I fold it in half once. Ooh, pass me a piece of paper, Mouse. I'd like to do this with you. Oh, lovely. So, in a half. And once. then in half again, the other way. And you have a rectangle. In half the other way. And then, where the fold is, put your thumbs there. You hold it by one of the folds. Where? In the middle, yes. Yes. And the first thing we do is we're going to cut off that corner there in a sort of curvy shape. Ah, I'm going to need to borrow some scissors, aren't I? Yeah. Um, lovely. You Thank you very much. So we go from one corner to the next. One corner, I see. In a curvy shape. In a curvy, curvy round shape. Very good. And you should have a shape like that. I do. And then we are going to keep our scissors and along all the edges we're going to cut little shapes out. It doesn't matter what any of these shapes are. It could be like that. You could cut a triangle shape like that. Or you could do a big shape, wiggly shape of all different shapes like that. As long as they always come back to the same edge. And that one. And that one. Am I doing this right, Mouse? Perfect. And we go Love. along all the edges. And if you like, you can snip off each corner, like that. Each corner? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. More shapes. Oh, all right. On the, on the rounded edge as well. Good, I'm going to do a triangly one and then a round shape. And then I think I might do another triangly one. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to do another round shape. There. I'm going to try and do half the heart out and then down the middle. Mm -hmm. Have you done all of your sides? Oh, you're uh, very yes, quick. I think so. I did bigger cuts than you. There. When you've cut shapes in all your edges, you can open it up. Right. There we are. Bring it up. Yay! Oh. Ooh, look at that! Yours looks like a face. Look. It does look a little bit like a face. <laughs> Hello! You have a snowflake. It's a beautiful snowflake. And the wonderful thing about this is, is that no two snowflakes are the same as each other, so it doesn't matter what yours looks like. There's no right shape. Shall we do a loop to hang it on the tree? Good idea. I'm going to use some of this wool for a change. I found some gold. Uh, um. And we can decorate these with different colours or stick different things onto them. Stickers and jewels and sequins. That is wonderful, Mouse. I like this very much indeed. Now we've made our decorations, we can hang them on the tree. Ooh. Oh, yes. Oh, that's lovely. That's lovely, Mouse. Uh, which I don't know which one to hang first. Um, oh, I'll hang my snowflake too. Uh, where shall I put it? I'll put it here, next to yours. Oh, they look marvellous. Now me, with my little Christmas tree, going to hang it here. Oh, that's a good place, Mouse. Oh, yes. Blood. And I shall hang my lovely Christmas tree as well. And I shall hang it just here. There. Oh. Oh. Oh, Father Christmas, they look absolutely magical. Oh, that gives me an idea. 
would you mind, if you have enough time before you need to go, would you... You mean, um, a little Christmas wish? Oh, yes, please. Well, of course I have time for a Christmas wish. Would you like to join us in making a special Christmas wish? You would? Wonderful. Well, in that case, close your eyes as tight as you can. And you can make your wish for somebody near or somebody far. And you can make that wish whatever you like. Are you ready? Close your eyes. One, two, three. Father Christmas. You're welcome. Oh, uh, you can open your eyes again now. Sorry, I forgot <laughs> to say. <laughs> well, thank you for coming and making Christmas decorations with me this year, Father Christmas. It's been the most magical day ever. And thank you for coming too. We hope you have a very, very Merry Christmas wherever you are. Bye-bye from the Smiddles Estate. Bye-bye. Merry Christmas.